Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied Energy 6 2 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a look at a spatial anchor and the spatial anchor is created with two iron ingots, one engineering processor, two Fluix Amiga LAS cable, one uh, 128, two the third power spatial component, three spatial pylons. And um, the spatial anchor, you need to chunk load your applied energy 62 ME network, and I will show you how you can check this and um, how you can use it. Um, you need um, one channel, and uh, so um, if you want, you can place it um, with a normal cable. Um, also, so if you want to do this. And um, if we right click the spatial anchor, we can see the energy usage. We can see that uh, our network is actually consuming 180 watts of flux per tick. Uh, we are loading uh, four chunks and um, we have also a network statistics. And that means we are actually loading four chunks in one world. If we have a second quantum ring in the nether, for example, um, we can also um, use the spatial anchor to chunk load this one and um, we and it will appear that we have uh, in two worlds okay and um, we can also show up um, our chunk loaded um, chunks so you can see this four chunks our uh, are our chunk loaded chunks okay. And um, if we um, if we extend our network with a new spatial pylons, for example, we can also see that our network is expanded. And if we go back to our spatial anchor, we can see that we are actually loading five chunks in one world, and our energy usage is increasing. And um, yeah, it will go um, to the entire network um, in each chunk. So that means if you have um, only one cable in uh, in a not a chunk loaded chunk, the spatial anchor um, will force load you this chunk um, through um, yeah through, through the settings. And um, yeah, that's um, how the spatial anchor is working. I hope um, I could tell you something about the spatial anchor. Thanks for watching and bye.